got a Britney one for you this week. That's right. I hope you're ready to give us more because you're stronger than yesterday, somebody. Times I run. And you know what? We are so lucky to have this guest. There you go. Enjoy this episode this week. We have Derek Barry. The icon, the legend. Sloppy Seconds Taste Locks Vegas with Derek Barry. Her forehead is so smooth. It's so smooth up there. I'm not that innocent. Oh! Better work, bitch. M. Oh. M. Mom! When your first choice is a big old bus, you turn around and boom, you end up with a sloppy second. Oh, Diva. Our number is 213 hey. 536 Manwa! <laughs> 80. Our email is sloppy Now on with the show. Oh, how you slap you stupid little f***ing that's so f***ing you dirty little f***ing. Welcome to Sloppy Seconds with Big Dipper and Meatball. I'm Meatball and that's Big Dipper. There's been a noise complaint. <laughs> wow. From the front desk. That no, was me. Hasn't. That was well, me, yeah. actually. We'll get to it you was... in just a second. Oh, sorry. There's been a noise complaint from the front desk. Ma'am. Uh, uh. Stop screaming. We're here at Circus they Circus. Did. We're here at Circus Circus again for Sloppy Seconds Takes Vegas. And we could not do this entire series without our next guest. Absolutely it just wouldn't not. have made any sense. The minute we knew that we were going to be in Vegas, we knew this had to happen. And we started texting. Did we get responses? I think I was texting an old number. <laughs> you know her. You love her. She is the Vegas doll. Make some noise for the one, the only, Der- Brittany Derek <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Brittany Derek Berry. I love Brittany. her. Hey, Derek. Yes. Hi. How, How are, you? How are you? you? Oh, wow. It's surround sound here. That's right. Well, um, we are going to be on either side of you. <laughs> is, is it just like at home when you have two people talking to you at the same time? It is a conversation. I don't <laughs> like to be in the middle, usually. At home. Hop on top. Hop yeah. on top. Yeah, Nebraska or Mac is in the middle, I mean. So, yeah. Love Mac. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> I do. Wait, I know I'm saying me too. We had such you. a wonderful time in Chicago. We did. I like fully got obsessed with y'all after we that. We did. Trip. That was well, I think you were obsessed before, but that was extra <laughs> obsessed. Oh, I did forget that I did stalk you for the stalking. two years. Yes, yes, the stalking was. This is, you know, I didn't put this on the outline, but I think we should just bring it to light think, here. I don't think a lot of people know about it because it's been so long. It's so it funny. Happened. There's a little bit of a storied history between the two of you, is yes, there not? I was like obsessed <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, it's one-sided. <laughs> the history is one-sided, <laughs> but it's there. Okay. I started wearing clothes with your name on it. <laughs> you I... post incessantly looking for just a response. Bonds. Yeah, and you never gave it to me. So withholding, Derek. Yeah, I, I'm very shy. At Dra- <laughs> oh, yes. oh, absolutely, sure. And then at DragCon, I think we finally met, like, DragCon 2008, 15, 16. The anyway. first one was 15. Okay, so it was, like, the second or third one. it was one. the second, yes. Yeah, and you were, like, you had a booth, and I was actually 17. terrified I to come talk to you. You were, like, behind a pillar yeah, or hiding something. hiding behind a pillar it was just staring at you. Very strange. What, and that was your first sort of, like, Knowledge of Meatball or, or... Yes. I think I saw the video on Twitter or someone sent it to me, tagged me. Some I don't Cause know. Because you had done a commercial for Tummy Time Tea. Sweet Flat Tummy Tea. Yes. Sweet Flat Tummy Tea. And I did the commercial like exactly yes, like that's you. right and then everyone was like why are you making fun of her and i was like i don't think you get it i'm not making fun of her like i love I'm this with yeah her. yeah 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 okay that was it then. yeah that was definitely the wow. one. Oh my god so that was before then drag then con. drag con okay and then i started wearing clothes with your name on them and tried to dress <laughs> like you and then i did a performance of you drunk at the <gasps> roast the roast where i had to lip sync so to that good. and you know what yeah. at the end of the day I understood what you were saying, and those jokes were those jokes were good. Yeah, there. there how much did you pay Jackie Beat for those jokes? Did how much did what? <laughs> did you pay Jackie Beat for those jokes? No, I actually wrote everything. I just never got to say anything. <laughs> so they really tried to get you off that stage. Oh, and I, you, I love the spotlight. So I'm like, no, I'm I'm here to stay. <laughs> Trissy Littell. <laughs> yeah, Miss Trixie Montel. <laughs> uh, apparently, even when I'm blackout, I still. Want to be on stage? Absolutely. Yeah. That's when I Probably black more. out. That's when I want to be on the stage the most. Probably yes. more. Okay, so how are you doing? How is life? How's Vegas? <laughs> how is life? I'm just trying Wait, to get I off the cl- weird. I just obsession. want to close the circle, which oh, is, yes. and then you've done some gigs together. It was you the all airport. Hung out. We we met at an airport randomly. Yes. I don't remember what city. Maybe Texas somewhere. It was. Yeah. It must have been something. Houston or Dallas or yes, something. Yes, I think it was. Uh, and so it was the three of us: Nick, Mac, and me. 
ran into you randomly. The Holy Trinity. Mm-hmm. And then I think that's when we exchanged numbers, I think. But feel I think like. I got Max number. Probably. Yes, because yeah. you were like too close to the sun. Yeah. You can't get this number. <laughs> well, and I and earlier you said you you think you text the wrong number, but I've had the same number since I was 18. So you might not have mine. I don't in. think I have yours. Okay. I think I have Max. Okay, we'll gotcha. fix that. We'll f- <gasps> We'll fix that. I'll have it? Yeah. Okay. I almost texted Naomi to get it, and then I was like, that's too, that's (laughs) weird. That's That's too weird. weird. I love her. She was really excited to do this, by the way. Oh, we had. So oh, we know. She got up her. at like yeah. six a.m. to do her makeup for like an eleven o'clock interview. It was yeah. wild. Yeah, I remember her talking about it beforehand because she was sitting next to me at the show, and so she was like planning it and um, the look and everything. I mean, she I did. Was, she debuted a look for you. I know. It was like new hair. She wore the red. The right? red yes. corseted dress. We literally. I mean, she walked in in drag, and I was like, "What are you doing in drag? Wow. Why are you in drag?" We pulled each other aside, and we were like, "So what do we do?" Because she came in drag. It's like, is this going to be a different thing? Do we have to? up our production value. We were like gagged at wow. what was happening. Oh, I love that. We lit her so well. Yeah, yeah. she was really excited about gorgeous. it. So I love her. She's uh, okay, definitely Okay, so one friends, of my and you'll have a uh, cell phone number. And I'll get a phone number, and we'll see you tonight at Drag Race Live, yes. the 930 show, in a beautiful booth. <laughs> Thank you, Eureka O'Hara, for providing us an incredible seat. Eureka's going to drive us, too, I think, in a van or something, over to the Yes, theater. a branded van. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, uh, I hope it has windows. You were just... <laughs> So you were <laughs> you were just back on TV. We all got I to was. see you back on TV. You hosted um, uh, two different talent shows for season 16 of Drag Race. Yes, double premiere episode. DP. D- DP, baby. Mm-hmm. Honey, you know uh, now, something about that. I heard <laughs> on Sibling Rivalry that you, after filming those, flew right back to Vegas yes. same day yes. after being covered in slime. Covered. And still did Drag Race Live that same and day. And did it. And Rue was so impressed. He was like, you're working tonight? You're going back to the show? I said, absolutely. I'm wrapped, right? Like, why wouldn't I? And he said he loves the work ethic. The work ethic. So, That's incredible. So yeah. they were there. They were there. Yes, they were there. The second episode, uh, we shot it on a Friday. And the second episode, all the girls and all the judges were there. The first episode, when we did the spring break, was just me. They had just wrapped for lunch. And wow. I so I saw like the last part of the talent show and the judges. And then oh, I see cool. them kind of like getting up and they're like, okay, Derek, this way. I'm like, oh God, what? I'm gonna do it with By Rino. myself oh, with no. nobody there. <laughs> That's so, crazy. Yeah, it's just very different. Yes. You know? And I was excited for them to see like I wanted to take the skirt off and have a reveal. And then I was like, okay, well, next girl. <laughs> you know, it's just <laughs> It's just different. It is and so, so different. I knew um, that in production was talking to me. They're like, oh, we thought you were going to do Britney spins and things. I'm like, well, tell me that stuff. Like, yeah. if you want Not me to thought. amp it up, I'll do it. Like, I love, I, I could do a take two. And then so I knew when I came back on Friday, I got to do more. And then that's when Rue was like, more spins. Do more <laughs> oh, yeah, spins. They had you twirling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was it was and a Ruth lot. Said, I'm gonna stick around and see the slime. Yes. I yes. See the slime. That was the thing. A little more pink of the slime. Now, yes. when you were um announcing the girls' names, did you recognize any of the names? Like like So Mirage is the only one that I believe that I have known from this season. Vegas. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Vegas. Yeah, Vegas. She's having like a moment with that song. Oh, it's, it's like everywhere. number one on iTunes. Yes, yeah. it's true. Like, I don't know what it is. I yeah, it's that. something. That's so cool. And I love that they got to do something like that uh, for their talent show. Not everybody, right. but a lot of the girls. Well, if they chose. Yeah, if they chose to <laughs> record something, then you're kind of putting yourself out there. You don't have to wait for the um, the last episode to have a single come out. You have right. to start with one. So very smart. I love that. No, whose talent was your absolute favorite out of everybody's? Oh, be shady. gosh. Be, huh? be, shady. be shady. Say it back. Be, be shady. shady. <laughs> My absolute favorite. Uh, oh, gosh. That's... I would say the most unique one, I think, was Q. Yes, I absolutely. I think that sure. one was the one I remember the most. And then Safira with the opera. Uh, that was so I good. love mixing comedy and talent. I yes. think that's super smart. Um, Mirage was the best dancer, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. A, a cartwheel with a heel clack. That's it's insane. unbelievable. Yeah. She's just, well, she how does she strippers, move like clearly. that? Yeah. Of yeah. course. Yeah. And thank God. Yeah. Like, we because need that. Because everything about it is, like, people can do cartwheels and dance like that, but she's moving her head and her arm, like, at different times. Like, yeah. Just, like, what? If you watch her, really watch her. No, I know, her, because like if incredible. you think about, yeah. like, the weight distribution, clacking your heels in the middle 
when there's supposed to be momentum and yeah. you yeah. stop it. It's She's basically in a handstand. Yes. My yeah. favorite yes. would have to be Megami. I think that that was like life changing for you, and for me. And I also stop. What? Okay. Yes. I love, <laughs> I love what you did with that. What do you mean? Protect bad drag was really funny. I, yeah, I did do that. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love being a troll, but honestly, you're kind of a troll too. People no. Don't know. Okay. No, but you live under the bridge. I have a house on top. Like I am the bridge. <laughs> I am the bridge, Mama. Oh I God. am the bridge. <laughs> that is I'm incredible. just kidding. Did the wig survive the slime? <laughs> it did. It actually, what? I'm wearing that wig tonight. You'll see that one. Who uh, worked okay. magic on that? I had to. Wash it out. First of all, the uh, the trailer that they had me in, it filled up. Like with the slime, it filled up. So I didn't, I couldn't get everything off. Right. And I'm like, hey, anyone can, anyone come pump this? Like, do we have a plumber? Uh, so I had to like rinse off more in the sink. But I just left the wig on and just let it all come out. Uh, but you're you're the kind of bitch who puts the wig on and showers with it like never. it's growing out of your head. I have ne- that's <laughs> the first time do. I ever had done that. Really? Ever? Uh, I'm like, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I felt like herbal essence. It yes, did. Totally. Yeah, it did. I love that. <laughs> but it did come out. It did come out. You do have bad luck with showers, right? Didn't the shower explode on you one time? It did. The glass. The glass oh exploded and Max just laughed at you. What? No, he went into like medic mode, mm. and he like. Picked me up out of it. Um, it hit my feet, and it was like little shards of glass all over my feet, my legs. We were pulling it out with tweezers in the bathtub. <gasps> what happened? So I moved. What caused it? So the, I think there was like a little crack in the handle. Mm-hmm. Um, and one day when I was cleaning it, I was like, oh, that's probably not good. And so I just tightened it, like the handle. like uh, So it didn't come loose. Yeah. And I think whatever did that, and then the... Uh, the heat. Yeah. Sometimes these break in the middle of the night. It's like a phenomenon yeah. that happens and people, you're not even in there. Well, I had gone to open it and thank God I didn't like open as I walked through. I opened like this and then it just boom and Oof. it fell. That's horrifying. It was scary. so scary and I was doing the interview for World of Wonders book. Like the one to ten oh, yeah. seasons. Don't f*** it up. I was getting out of the shower to get ready for that interview because it was on camera. And I had to tell them I just had a glass explosion. Like, I have to postpone. And they're probably like, we've heard a lot. We've heard, sure, a, lot. Girl. We've hey, heard girl. a lot, but this is new. <laughs> like, but it was real. I, my husband is pulling glass it was real. out of me with yeah. tweezers. And I was like traumatized. Yeah, and yeah I'd be scared. It's, it was very scary. I'd so be, be careful. Nervous around glass doors. Out there. Oh, we yeah, never I replaced would... it. There's like a shower curtain, which I hate. <laughs> I hate shower curtains. But I'm like, well, do I want to die? No, or do I want a shower? No, so. Bad luck with showers. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Ready? <laughs> and we're back. You know, Wicked. That started off good, and oh. then it oh. went, and then it went somewhere. It went, it went somewhere over the rainbow. It, it started did. off good. It, oh, yeah. thank you so much. It did. That's it did. all that matters, really. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's more about um, how you begin than how you finish. Absolutely. Than how you For finish. Sure. For or sure. like, uh, on the top. And on the bottom. Do you no. know that one? No. Okay, we'll no. play it for you. Adam. Oh, gosh. Vegas has been a hot spot for drag entertainment for a long time. Yes. Traditionally more celebrity impersonation. Yes. Now, you know, obviously there's a local scene, but with Drag Race Live being here, there are tons of Rue Girls coming through, and I yeah. feel like with that, there's been even more of a rise of, like, drag brunches, and, like, oh, is sure. it, there's, have you seen so much more drag explode in Vegas as of late? It's unbelievable yeah. what I've seen. Yeah. I, I moved here in 2004, and I remember Gypsy was one of the years. only... 20 years. I just celebrated on Halloween of 03 you was my 20-year anniversary for Britney. 19. Yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's very smooth up there. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Lumpy bumpy. Lumpy bumpy, baby. Lumpy bumpy. <laughs> no, I live it. That's your, Are... that's your uh, quote from you with Diabetes. <laughs> I oh, love that. oh yeah, it's very we'll smooth get to that. up there. We'll get to that. <laughs> oh, you listened um, to that episode? I yeah. Well, those she clips, saw the clips circulated. She saw the clips me, for sure. Um, How does that feel? <laughs> but uh, uh, okay, so twenty years ago when I moved here, it was just Lacage was the drag show. That's what I moved here for. Yeah. I was twenty, and Gypsy was the one show bar. I would say they had Chad Michaels would come out once a week. Uh, Chanel was the host. 
uh, Dolly Levi, and they would always have a guest come wow. in. And that was the drag that I knew of. Like, I didn't know anything else. There was just Gypsy and Lacage. Wow. Because um, Kenny Kerr with Boylesque was closed, and that's all we had. It was just so different. And even when I started coming up in L.A., people didn't go out in drag unless you were performing. Because mm -hmm. I started at Mickey's, and I was college night because I was underage. And I'd be the only drag queen there. Right. On a Tuesday night, no one in drag, just people there having fun, and me doing hot spots. And so it's changed so much. Mm -hmm. And now everyone's in drag. Yes. It, and everyone wants to get the paid, way, but they're good. Yes. <laughs> and that's the way to, to get noticed, Yeah, right. is to show up in drag, do a number. Okay, amazing, we love it, we'll book you. And I think... Um, yeah, now there's like five drag brunches. I work at the Voss one, uh, drag brunch on uh, TI Senior Frogs. I'm a swing there. Uh, but yeah, there's like five other places now doing drag brunches. Wild. That's so crazy. We were at the Garden, mm -hmm. which I know is a little like in, what'd you say? Those, we were in like Old, Old Town, Town or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's like Fremont Downtown Street? Arts uh, District. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We were there for a porn party, but I recognized it as the place that I always see videos of Tamisha Mom doing brunch. Yeah. Yes. Yep. She's and there. Elliot with two K T's, two T's, mm -hmm. and um, Alexis Mateo's there too sometimes. Right. Alexis. She actually is at a Gypsy now. Oh, she started a drag. Wow. Say that. What's up? Nothing. Can you say that? Oh my God! What? Stop it. Well, you stop it. <laughs> now no, I want to see. No, the, you stop. Now I want to go to the confrontation about the smooth up there. What's going on? What happened? <laughs> I don't even remember saying that. Oh. You have perfect skin. No, well, and that's what I thought. And people were like, no, she's saying, like, you have no brain. And I'm like, no, no we were talking, we about, were talking about your fucking skin. Yeah, that's what, see? We were talking about how nice see? And, like, how diabetes is, like, fucking Botox the house down. Boots in a good way, Ma. <laughs> like now it's going to turn around, and that's going to be the clip, and she's going to think I'm saying she's got a smooth brain. Because we don't make the clips, you know. Yeah. Social media manager does looking for clicks, yep. looking for drama. I mean, I liked it. And But the thing is that she did give away my secret, and now everyone knows I don't put makeup on my forehead. But I don't do that because the lace uh, blends so much better to your real, like your natural skin. Yes, right. And it comes off way easier. Yeah. And yes. I'm putting it on five days a week, and I'm like, I'm not and trying to be here for the extra too, so steps. You don't want to get it gunky with makeup. Exactly. Yeah. And I do it all myself. We have a hair department, but I like to clean my lace, and mm. I just like to take care of that. So I love cleaning my lace. What lace? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, when the girls who haven't had the experience of doing like a regular show yeah. come to town, are right. you like, babes, get ready five nights a week? Well, it's exhausting and not everybody can do it. Mm -hmm. And they do wig changes in the show. And I'm like, that's great. But do you flip your hair? You know, like it's just very different. Mm -hmm. And so I've had to figure out what works for me. And when I put makeup on my forehead, I see lines and wrinkles. Mm. And I don't, why? I don't yeah. want to look at that. So I keep it clear, like nothing, and just put some powders or, you know, whatever, highlight, bronzer. But, um, yeah, Daya thought it was super weird, and now people are like, I knew it. I knew it doesn't match. I knew she didn't put makeup on her forehead. But it does. And I'm like, oh, my God. Y'all need to come see the show. Yeah. yeah. Derek Have you ever seen the Derek show. live in person? <laughs> she looks great. I mean, she looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so you, the show is five nights a week. It is. I know it's super exhausting. Yes. These girls are coming in. They're from wherever they're from. Right. They've been on Drag Race <laughs> for a year. They're not used to five nights a week. Right. What is it like to like get them acclimated to something like that? Well, some of them don't, and they don't come five nights a week. And 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 that's why. Oh, swing. I remember that's one of them just swings. like left. Some of them have left, and some of them have been asked been asked to, to leave. leave. Name them. 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 Would you let me talk? But, <laughs> but you love doing the show. You've been doing do. it the longest? I've or are you Asia, in Asia? Yes. Asia and I have both been there for four years. We opened January 30th of uh, 2020. Because y'all know what the f*** you're doing. Yes, bitch. We're not leaving. Yeah. Like, I'm not. And I've told them, you're going you to try. have to escort me out. <laughs> Like, I'm just not leaving. You're like, let's build a I new number. We'll do whatever you yeah. want. I'm here. Yeah. We want to change my Britney number because I have been doing it since the beginning. Mm -hmm. But we had a year and a half off. And right. so I really don't feel like I've been doing it for that long. Right. We've been oh, reopened right. two and a half years. Because of the pandemic. Know? Yeah. We I remember. Six weeks. Naomi was saying that they like they were like, show's over, everyone out. And she was like, half of my costumes were still in the dressing room oh, yeah. for like six months. Yeah. She left on a Thursday to go home to be with her mom. 
and uh, we closed on that Saturday. So she didn't really like pack anything. Yeah. And I remember she wore blue makeup that night and had blue stones. And I went to the bathroom after her. Um, there's three sinks, and she had left her stones like there, uh, cause she doesn't recycle, cause she's rich. And so Don't I'm like, all that gone. oh, and I I I just started crying, because it was like the last thing that she left yeah. and I knew that we were gonna close. All the other shows were closing. Right. And uh, it was just so emotional. And it's so like vivid in my mind seeing them. And I just grabbed them all. She had like seven on each eye. And so it was- 14. 14. Yeah. Yeah. It was really sad <laughs> though. I wasn't going to say it was 14. I was gonna say it's sad. <laughs> I love math. I thought we were going to just do math 21. Together. She has three she eyes. She has three eyes. <laughs> I mean, she put one in the middle. <laughs> but that was crazy because it was right after you guys opened. Six <sighs> weeks. Plus the TV show. And we were filming. And so it was like a shutdown of my biggest dreams in my life. Mm -hmm. in On your home turf. Yes. In your place. Everyone else is living in apartments. I'm at home. Yeah. And so it just felt like my world was crashing down. Wow. For and sure. they could all kind of like escape and go home to, or like travel yeah, or do a little could. bit of that. Yeah. And, that. and I'm, like, I live here. They went here. down to PV to pass out canned goods with <laughs> oh, Shangela. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Did you know Shangela's performed on all seven continents? Really? Sure. I don't know. Oh. I, I think it's six. Okay. I Antarctica don't know. Antarctica was one of them. I don't sure. know. Where right do you do shows there in Antarctica? Oh, for, for the break. penguins. Oh, okay. Yes. Happy feet. We're not, happy feet. She's got those little happy feet. So we've already said this, but you are a true trailblazer of drag here in Las Vegas. <laughs> Thank you. But another thing that you kind of trailblazed uh -oh. for a lot of people is polyamory. Yes. How's that going? Well, we're still together. That's Thank insane God. to me. Yeah, so when the world, uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're going to the cards. When the world met you on television and learned of your <laughs> unique partnership with your husband, unique? it was a main unique? topic of conversation, but now everybody's doing it. The kids are poly. No one cares Everyone anymore. has a boyfriend. It's not a big deal. Thrupples, bubbles, yep. dogs, and cats. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, no, no dogs. No cats. <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, Just kidding. Do you feel like when you like look out in the world, you meet a lot more people who are in like unique partnerships? Absolutely. Even at the meet and greets, we'll have um, thruples come up, and they'll say, "Thank you so much. You guys were the first ones that we saw wow. uh, that were out and proud with it." And I think, f I think for a lot of people, it's been something that was just taboo. Like, yeah. we don't want to be gay and uh, weird sexual. Yeah, you know, like we're already gay, so we don't want to be gay and cheaters. Right. Yeah. And so it was almost like a unspoken thing, like you have a third, or you're it's open, or all these other things. But in pictures, here's me and my husband at a banquet. And we're this rich. Is our friend Ted. He's yeah. Always right. around. Yeah. Right. And so it just felt like, uh, why would we do that? Yes. You know, we were a closed relationship that we wanted to uh, celebrate. And it's just, I feel like Nick and I kind of found our partner in mm -hmm. Mackenzie. And so I was uh, very proud of it. I mean, I still am, but yeah. on the show, totally. talking about it. Um, and people have so many questions. I think it was Alyssa on a Work the World I was doing, uh, filling in, she like interviewed me. In the bus. She needed to know. She was so intrigued by all of it. Now, how's and, it going on this gig? Yeah. yeah. Come on, well, mama. You want to tell me when one back, mama? start? <laughs> and it was, but I was like, okay, well, let's let's do an interview. Um, but I I love talking about it because it does kind of break the 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 norm. Yeah. You know, it's not it's not a a, a typical relationship. Um, it is unconventional, but then at the same time, we are a little more traditional because right. it is um, trinogamous. So it's oh. it's very like I don't know trinogamous. <laughs> trinogamous. <laughs> well, we were having this conversation recently about it could never be me. The diff. <laughs> well, no, okay. that would be quad quad because I got too many personalities. <laughs> no, but oh, we were I talking. Do too. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking nice about to this. Meet you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, no, yeah. oh no, that's Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were we were talking about the difference between an open like I think oh, yes. also 
lot of people are hearing these terms more, right? And, and then they they're really getting get confused because yes. they're like, "Oh, so you're just opening your f- anyone?" Right. No, right. We are um, faithful to our thruple. Yes. yes, yes. And then there is a uh, you know polyamory where it's like we're married, but I have a boyfriend over here that right. isn't interacting yeah. with you. And it's just it's cool that you were able to start like open people's eyes to just new yeah a yeah. new conversation. Yeah, I feel like because even a lot of people. Like well, let's say um, with um, Mormon, the Mormon religion, mm-hmm. there there have been Mormon McMichaels, Morgan who Mormon Mormon McMichaels. Mormon McMichaels. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah. so she is. Haven't met her, um, <laughs> but there's people that are married, yes, yes, and then they have like separate houses, yeah, for the other family, yeah. Uh, could never be me. Big is, love. Maybe it could. You, have you auditioned for the show? She's no. <laughs> she's letting you know. I'm putting it out there. Do you want it? No. I'm looking no. for it. She does uh, That sounds exhausting to me, I by know. the way. Yes. First of all, it sounds financially draining. Oh, yeah. Separate houses? And then but they were all living on one compound. That's even... Which is weirder to me. Well, I, famously, the housing market in Vegas is a little lower. <laughs> Hi, as Heidi it's says. Doable as Heidi, here. Co- and as Heidi Utah. Plaza would say. Yeah. And Utah. But I think that that is something that is, uh, some people could never imagine. Mm-hmm. Right. Like uh, when I had a conversation with my sister about this in the very beginning, she was like, I could never share my husband with anyone. Mm-hmm. And I said, well, what if it was another woman? Because obviously like, or what if it was another man? I don't remember what I asked her, but a woman, she was like, absolutely not. And then I'm like, well, if it's another man, what? How is that for you? Yeah. Because it, it's not you. It's yeah. not you. Like, there's no competition now. It's more for you. And I think she's like, oh, she's like it opens someone's eyes to mm. be. It's different. Yeah. You know, oh, you don't want another woman because you don't want him having the same thing you have with somebody else. But we're three of the same thing. We're three men. It's not. There's not a competition. Yeah. Type feeling, and I think that that's why. I can't say it works for everybody because I, I don't know if it does. Yeah. Uh, but I do think that it's not as easy for straight couples to understand this. Absolutely. Right. On both sides, a, a, a husband or a wife. It's three men. Now, when's the baby? You know what I mean? We have a, a kitty, Khaleesi. Aww. She's our baby. Khaleesi. Yeah. I love cats. Yeah. I have a kitty. Me too. too. Love cats. Let's, ta- ha- Let's take a break. Have you ever had a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Wet. You ever hired a hooker? I never have had Would to pay you for ever? sex. I mean, now you no. had, to. had to pay. I don't. Did that <gasps> sound that way get to, to you? It's get to. Oh, okay. I, I wanted, never wanted, I wanted to. it to Listen, sound that way. I never wanted to. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't wanted it to sound that way. <laughs> I said, did it, it did. sound it that did. way? It did. I, I wanted, wanted it, it to. <laughs> uh, I never have had a hooker, no. I want to because I think I want to play with like the power dynamic of being yes. like I'm paying you and now yeah. you have to do what I want you yeah. to do. But I hear a lot like, of people do that in PV. Is that like a psychotic way to look at it? No, I just feel like I know, I mean we know so many people who do escorting work yeah. and I think like one of the key tenants would be like respect. I do respect them. I want everything to be respectful. <laughs> But I want them to do everything. But I also want them to do it in a respectful, yeah. God fearing way. But, but I guess, I mean, if you do believe in Jesus, you could text them and let them know <laughs> I want to be in control. I want it to be a power dynamic. I think saying that as part of the. That's kind of what I said. Well, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I, I think if you never mentioned you want there to be a power dynamic and they walk in, and you're like, get on all fours. Well, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, much. I think that it, it needs to be set up that they're coming into a <laughs> scenario. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a scene. <laughs> Right? It's a scene. It's a scene. It's a scene. It's a scene. This is who I want you to play. I'd be like, thank you so much. Give a big tip. You really did that. Slay mama, work the house yeah. down boots. Would it be a big tip, though? Or just. It's pretty fat. <laughs> it's quite the mushroom head. Quite the mushroom. <laughs> mushroom. So, Derek, you have been on a lot of reality. I've never TV. had to pay for sex. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I didn't you mean shady that. Shady bitch. You're, no. Honestly, the secret is like shady. Yes. Ever. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into it, but India Fair, I had it coming. Next. Wow. So you are Got so Got a lot good. of plaques. Got a lot of awards. A lot of awards on that wall. <laughs> you are so good on reality TV because you say exactly how you feel in the moment. I do. You're an open book. Yep. <laughs> very smooth up very there. Very smooth up there. It's very smooth up there. <laughs> um, did you take any issue 
with how you were presented on season eight when it first happened. Well, because it has become your turn yeah. on season eight is a very iconic, super quotable. <laughs> everyone talks about it. You are quite the character in like the world of Drag Race. But in the moment where you're like, girl, they f up my edit. Uh, while I was watching it, you mean, yeah. or while I was filming it? No, while, while you, were you were watching, watching it. it. Oh, while I was watching. Well, I've only seen it once because I was like, I never need to see that again. I Couldn't be I, her. Couldn't be me. You'd watch it over and over. Again. I'd watch every minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put it on slow mo. I would watch go to it. bed watching it. I would, I would, I would wake up to it. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I couldn't because sometimes what I was watching was not what had happened mm -hmm. in the in in the grand scheme right. of it all. Yeah. yeah they and so the show. if you leave pieces out of things, then that's not what happened. Really happened. Now I will say that there were times where Bob and I fought, and after it was done, and we were like. There, the cameras are done, and there's uh, the steam had been let out. Uh, I would say that's going to be a great scene because yes. that was fantastic. Just the back and forth. Uh, I wouldn't do it again. It was a learning lesson. I can't say thing everything I want to say. Sure. Uh, but I think that I learned a lot filming that. You know, and I was okay with putting scenes out there like that because. Yeah. Drag Race needs that. You have it to does. have honest fights. Yes. People literally well, you... reference your season as like one of the last seasons that the girls just really went for. It was yeah. like real because now we did. I think the girls on the, I mean, I don't know how the show works or anything, but the girls on the newer seasons seem to be trying to self-produce themselves and like yeah. create drama or things. And right. it doesn't feel as real as like watching some of the older seasons with like Jeremy and Willem going at it and yes. stuff like that. Yes, exactly. Like you and Bob, y'all really went to town. Yeah, truly. And and I think we were so much alike uh, there that it was such an easy scene partner because I knew how I could get to him and he knew how he could get to me. That is Bob's thing. She yeah. likes to find the button and just oh, yeah. fucking she press it. Really yeah, does. but I appreciate that, and I think that he's such a great. He should he should have won. He was the best person to win that season because he did it all. And when they got to the when I left, and it was it was Chi Chi left, and Naomi Kim and Bob. Bob was the standout loud one. And oh, yeah. he showed up every day for a scene. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Kim and Naomi and Chi Chi were all a little bit more chill. And he was just like a character that was fun to watch on TV. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So very fun to shoot with him. But I do think of some of those as scenes because yeah. they are. There's no way that, know? yeah. Right. Well, you can't. It's TV. You, yeah, You're you can't <laughs> yeah, exactly. be in front of cameras with a bunch of lights on you and be like, this is cinema verite. They're just capturing me, my right. natural habitat. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you, ha you, like, you have to be aware of what's yeah. happening. It's TV. Yeah. You turn it up. Yeah. And turn it up. You put your sweatpants <laughs> in the other room because you got too hot. You turned it up. <laughs> and took it off. Because you have to. <laughs> All right. Let's play. Let's. Why don't you play a game? Okay. Oh We're God. about to play a game now. I can't wait. In the style of the 2008 Tyra Banks interview with Beyonce entitled Beyonce My oh, Name, Say My Name, no. we have our own little version that we like to play here called Slant My Name. name. <laughs> this is a rapid fire question game where I'm going to ask you a question based off of a Poorly written rhyme of your name, I'd say. Okay. A slant rhyme, sorry. Aww. That made you sad. Yes, <laughs> good observation. Do you do that a lot just when someone's upset? You seem upset. Aww. Your face changed. We'll talk about it. Yeah, you look, <laughs> you look at the chart and you're like, smile means happy. <laughs> Frown means sad. <laughs> no, Derek? I think these are good rhymes. Yeah, I actually went through them. They're funny. Yes, okay, good. I like this. I've never played a game like this. I'm excited. Really? Yeah, I don't think so. You seem like someone who likes to play games. Well, I've, Derek I've Prairie. Played. Where are you from originally? I'm from Modesto, California. Oh, not the prairie. <laughs> Derry Perry. <laughs> Do you think there's a role for Derek Barry in a Tyler Perry movie? Oh, only if Janet's in it. <gasps> oh, yeah. yeah. So he does the bend in. <laughs> oh, no, so you do the bend in. Remember that? When Janet finds out that her husband's gay and then she says, you're the bottom. Oh, okay. yes. Derek Harry, do you think I should shave my chest and shoulders? <laughs> shoulders. My shoulders. I have my shoulders. Shave you. Do you think I should shave my chest and shoulders? Uh, maybe just your back. Oh. Yeah. Okay. For 
for Oops. strapless. For strapless. And, sh- oh, and, and shoulders. We should do shoulders, too. Yeah. I'm thinking, sh- I was going to shave my shoulders, and everyone was like, don't do it, because then I'd have to do my whole arm. Oh. And I got my back waxed one time before I went on vacation, and it left little pimples everywhere. It, it's awful. It hurts. And you can't so do any, like, moisturizers, creams. Because it'll awful. get all um, zitty. Infected. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Really? I, but I went to a water park. I got my back. After? Oh, gosh. It was not good. Yeah, they tell you you can't even, like, get in a bath or anything. So. I went to a public water park. Yes. Not public. So you it were... Was a, it was called Schlitterbahn. And Why did you do that? Because my mom made me get my wax back. My, <laughs> my back wax before... And your, my age, your age was? Like I know. 15. What? Yeah, I had a hairy back as a child. Oh, wow. I thought this was, like, recently. No, Derek Contrary. <laughs> do you ever pick fights with people on TV just to be contrarian? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Derek Scary. Any relation to Richard Scary? <laughs> Just kidding. What's your favorite scary movie? Ooh, that's tough. Uh, gosh, I love the original Scream. So yeah, good. Drew Barrymore. Killing her off in the first scene. Iconic. Yeah. That really Amazing. was iconic. Amazing. Because yeah. yeah. everyone thought that they were going to go see a scary Drew movie Barrymore. star Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, yeah. Gone in the first 15. So good. But it was all about her in the 15. beginning. Derek Vary, are you a fan of the hit mom podcast, Luxury Public Access podcast, and YouTube talk show, Very Delta, hosted by Delta Work? I don't know the luxury one, but I love Delta. <laughs> is that luxury really something? Well, the, her podcast is a luxury podcast. Oh. It's called a Luxury Public Access talk show. And oh, podcast. I've never heard that before. I didn't it's know that. Tagline. Honestly, I hadn't either until yeah. I just read it off this card. Oh, okay. No, Derek, but I, I love Delta. <laughs> Derek Barry, where would you bury the body? Oh, oh! Where would I? Well, in, somewhere in the desert. Yeah, because we're out yeah, here, yeah. right? Lake Mead. People. Lake Why not? Mead. Actually, the bodies are coming up because it's getting so low. I've heard. What? Oh, no. the yeah, are the bodies are up. coming up. They discover bodies all the time in Lake Mead. Yeah, it's, the desert is where you go to ditch a body. Yeah, the movie Casino. That's for real. Like people get buried in the <sighs> desert. They'll bury a whole car. They'll bury a car out there with bodies in it, and then the car. Will Who's get the point. they? Killers. <laughs> The killer, the killer. People from Scream. <laughs> Derek Airy, what Airy. elemental sign do you mostly connect with? Oh, I'm a water sign. I definitely am one. I'm a Cancer. Yeah, me too. Oh, sla- Wait, that's I'm why. July 18th. I'm July 13th. Ooh, that's my grandma's birthday. I'm your grandma. You look like her. <laughs> she was 78 when she passed okay. away. Okay. Derek Canary, can you sing for us? Uh, yeah. What song? Whatever is in your heart's desire. You sang a little ditty on your way to the bathroom. Stronger than yesterday. Stronger than. That's you. Uh, Oh, gosh. uh, On the spot. Um, What's in your book? What do you audition with? What do I? I audition actually with an acoustic uh, acoustic toxic. Uh, Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Too high and I can't come down. It's in the air and it's all around. That's wow. very good, Miss Derek. It's just a little bit. Just a little ditty for the girls. Derek Fieri. <laughs> Derek Fieri. Fieri, okay. Isn't it Guy Fieri? Yeah. Slant You were supposed rhymes. to read it right. Derek sure. Fieri. <laughs> what takes you to Flavortown? Oh, Flavortown. Okay, I love... Well, I love Thai food. That's my favorite. Ooh. So I get a, a chicken green curry with uh, Spice yeah. Level 3. Love it. Ooh, out of five or out of ten? Out of ten. Ooh, oh, okay. okay. No, no, one time Naomi came over. We had drunken noodles. She got a six out of ten on the drunken noodles. She didn't eat it all, and so she left it. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna. Oh, it's okay. I'll put it away. Yeah. And so <laughs> I ate that. it, and I was like, put it, away. <laughs> <laughs> it was so hot. <laughs> and she kept drinking her water yeah. or whatever we were drinking. She kept taking, and I'm like, it's too oh, hot. It's too hot. She's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, my <laughs> lips were on fire. She's like, I'm good. I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, I, I'm full. I'm so full. I'm so full. I'm a model. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a model. Yes. 